Hello New Manga Food family, welcome back to the ministry. I hope you all are doing gloriously well. Today I received the word from the Lord again and that was when I was spending time Sorry about the noise. <laughs> that was when I was spending time with our Heavenly Father at about 7 this morning. And the Lord was speaking to me about my situation. But at the same time, the Lord also gave me a vision of a scripture, which wasn't very clear to me. But at the bottom, I saw numbers and it looked like 22 and 23. So I received that the Holy Spirit needed me to go and uh, spend time on this word. But I actually believe that the, that the Lord was, you know, speaking to me about, you know, something he was, he was trying to get my attention to. So just go into the scripture and spend time. So um, as my day went along, I asked the Holy Spirit again what he wanted me to release to you all as I normally do. And uh, instantly um, the remembrance of that scripture came back. The one that's in the, in the vision, Numbers 22 and 23. So I began to meditate upon the word. So as I um, continued to study God's word, um, instantly it got to a point where um, the scripture was speaking about the king of uh, Moab. Uh, his name is Balak and he was threatened by, by the people of um, Israel because there were so many of them in the land at the time having been delivered from bondage coming out of Egypt. And he told uh, a man named Balaam to go and curse the people because he was threatened by them and he wanted to get rid of every single one of them out of um, the city. But Balaam um, only went forward to do what the Lord asked him to do, to speak only the words that the Lord had given to him to speak and which was to go and bless the people. So unknown to Balak, Balaam was on his way to, you know, go and do what he was supposed to do. But when he got there and he saw the Israelites, he began to release words of blessings unto them. As I got to that very verse, please go and spend time on that scripture for yourself because it's so long. I, I can't put everything in the bag below and I can't read it all now. So as I, as I got to that point where Balaam began to release words of blessings over the people of God, I heard the voice of God speak to me saying to ensure and encourage the people uh, tell them they are blessed and they cannot be cursed and show and encourage the people tell them they are blessed They cannot be cursed. That's the exact words that I heard while I was um, going through the scriptures uh, in my quiet time and So I just continued I had what the Lord said, but I but I wanted to finish the whole thing So I finished the whole thing and instantly I knew that that was what the Lord wanted me to release unto you all today So blessings 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 um, and and what I also understand is that because I, ha I have had sessions with um, people also where uh, people have come to me to say um, that they feel like they are cursed, that they're like nothing is working right in their lives or like or like there's a, 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 a generational curse upon them, on their bloodline. And I now understand in a way, you know, um, that God just wants his people to just understand that, listen, if if I have blessed you, you are blessed like nobody can cost you. That's what God wants you to understand, right? So if ever you felt in a, in a, in a, a situation where you feel like, oh, I feel like my life is just a mess. Like I feel like somebody placed a curse on me because nothing's making sense. Listen, nobody can place a curse on you because you are now part of the family of Christ. You've come under the blessing. Okay, you've come under the blessing because even before the entire foundation of the world, Christ existed, but he was just not seen. And that means the blessing existed, but it just didn't manifest until the appointed time. So the blessing existed before the curse. Okay, if you just understand that, now that, now that because you are in Christ, you are blessed. Okay, and the blessing existed before any curse ever existed. And the blessing overrides and destroys any curse. And Christ is the blessed one. And Christ gave you uh, your 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 uh, inheritance in Revelation 12 11. It speaks of you of um, you receiving blessings, glory, honor, power, strength, wisdom, hallelujah. Praise God. So understand that you are blessed. You are the blessed of God. You are a blessed child. And God was also says, it says, Who God has blessed, no man can curse. Amen. So please be encouraged as the Lord wants you to be. Stop saying or speaking negative words over your life like I feel cursed or I'm cursed. I have been there before and, 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 and I know what it feels like. And it didn't make my own situation any better by saying, oh, I feel so cursed. Nothing is working right in my life. I was there many years ago. So I completely understand. But when I began to draw near onto the Lord, it began to change my perspective. When I began to know, like just figure out who I was truly 
in um, Christ Jesus, everything began to change. And that's what the Lord wants you to do as well, to change your perspective, begin to think, uh, change your mentality, okay? Begin to think blessings, begin to think I'm blessed, I cannot be cursed. Say that over yourself, proclaim it every day. I'm blessed. I am the blessed child of God. I'm a blessed child of God. I cannot be cursed. It's impossible for you to be cursed because you are a hearer of Christ. Amen. You're a child of God. Amen. Hallelujah. So be encouraged and, and understand that already that you are blessed. Okay. That is the foundation. Okay. You are blessed. You are blessed already. Okay, it's only when you begin to do things outside of God's word, when, when you begin to disalign or disobey the Lord, that curse that you open yourself to curses. But if you've been living for God and you are and you are born again and you are part of the family of Christ, you are blessed and you are a blessing. And God makes you a blessing unto nations, to multitudes, not just your family, not just your friends, but to so many other people when you continue to work with Him. So be blessed, you all, and be encouraged. This is God's word for you. He, he says to come to encourage you and tell you that you are blessed and that you cannot be cursed so get rid of that mentality of curses okay and i pray over every single one of you right now because god's word says that the, that the entrance of his word brings light the more you are enlightened in god's word and um the picture and um of your true identity of who you are in christ the more you begin to walk in the blessing walk in the liberty of god's word for your life Hallelujah. The more you have understanding and revelation of who you truly are in Christ, that you, you, you are indeed a blessed child of God. Amen. So that's what the Lord wants you to understand. You are blessed. You all are blessed. I pray over you in Jesus' name that every uh, uh, um, satanic or demonic agent uh, in your family, your friends, wherever, whoever, your uh, forefathers, Asian uh, persons that have ever opened their mouth to declare a curse over you in the name of Jesus Christ and by the power of the Holy Ghost and by the blood of Jesus Christ, I cancel those curses. I destroy those curses. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ against them in Jesus' name because you are now under the new covenant. You are under the, 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 the a new covenant of god in christ jesus and it's a covenant of blessings hallelujah amen so you are blessed in jesus name i destroy every curses every negative spoken word over your life your destiny your children your future your marriage every curse is broken in the name of jesus christ of nazareth father i give you praise because you've anointed your people and blessed them so they are indeed blessed and all the days of your life shall be the blessings of god to begin to overflow in your life in jesus mighty name be blessed you all if you're new please join the family subscribe and uh, i'll see you all in the next one i think i'll be doing a live uh session tomorrow um i'll come up live by the grace of god because i've got requests to do lives now praise god uh we love you all so much and i'll see you all very very soon keep us in your prayers because we're always constantly praying for you at midnight it's amazing but we always do anyway you all if anyone wants any one-on-one -on -one sessions private mentoring please go to newmangofferwood.com and um, they are all there. We also have workshops, kingdom marriage work, uh, workshops, marriage uh, restoration workshops, the well hearing God's voice workshops and single parents workshops and the healing and deliverance class. And they all cost just about five pounds each and it's only space for about hundred people. So if you're interested, please be a part of it. It's to equip you, enlighten you, educate you and empower you um, for your destiny um and uh just just to really help you grow in the knowledge of what you um have been called into amen praise god so i'll see you all in the next one take care every link for the scriptures um it's going to be in the Babylon scriptures for all the books in the ministry in the Babylo, and all the links for the giving for tithes offerings everything are all in the Babylo. may god bless and prosper every single one of you as you continue to be obedient in christ in jesus name take care you all and i'll see you all very soon bye god bless